Okay, so we would arrive at the races, we get them off the lorry. Approximately three hours before the race, we aim for getting them to the races just so that they've got a chance to cool off if they've got a bit sweaty or relax in their new box. Um, and then we would start by plaiting their mane if they want to be plaited. So some horses are more highly strung than others and would not need to be plaited or we would rather we, they, they weren't plaited um, just because then it gets them a bit on edge and it can make them a bit tense. Um, so depending on the horse, what the owner would like, what the trainer would like, we would then plait or not plait their mane. So here I'm just, I usually use sort of three fingers widths as my estimate for the width of the plait. So I brush through his mane, I would put my fingers up to where the next plait is and then using the comb, I comb down next to my third finger to make a division in the mane, band that section. And I've just wedged my comb in to keep the rest of the mane out and it also keeps it handy for me. So here I've got, because I've done sort of three fingers widths for my sectioning, I then find it really easy to just put two fingers in the width that I've got and you automatically then get three sections which are fairly evenly sized. Once you've got your three sections, you fold your right hand section over the middle section, then your left hand section over the new middle section and you continue doing that all the way down as tightly as you can to the very bottom of the hair. So left over the middle, right over the middle all the way down to the bottom of the hair, as far down as you can. And then once you've got to the bottom, as far down as you can, so I've got a bit of a short piece of hair there which won't go any further, unfortunately my other bits are a bit longer. It's not the end of the world because you can then wrap them all up with your rubber band. I always put my rubber band on my forefinger because it just makes it easier for me to use rather than going in my pocket and having to fiddle around with it. So put my forefinger and my thumb through the rubber band and my third finger. Wrap the rubber band around and keep going and keep going until it starts to feel quite resistant. Then you, instead of pulling the full length of the ends of your hair through, you just leave them tucked in. Do a few more with them tucked in. And if you can, then just fold it over again with your very, very tight band so that all of the flyaways are kept at the bottom of the plait. So now that all of the plaits are plaited up, um, we then have to roll them into the little balls that make them look more presentable and just sort of rat's tails down his neck. Fold the plait, the bottom of the plait, where the rubber band is, into the base of the plait at the top, and then fold them over again so that you've got two folds, and then using your rubber band, hold the plait with your left hand and wrap the rubber band around with your right hand as many times as you can, just so that they're nice and secure.